Happy New Year. In the spirit of new beginnings, we thought today would be a great day to share with you some of the exciting new things we have planned for 2018. But before we go there, a quick foray into how we got here. 2018 marks the 30 year anniversary of a journey that began the aftermath of the collapsed steel industry. In 1988, a group of citizens got together, united in their concerns that with the destruction of the shuttered mills, an important part of our region's culture was in danger of being erased too. The prevailing sentiment at the time was not one of reverence for the industry, rather it was a stew of mixed emotions, anger for the way things went down, loss of identity in the face of joblessness, and a fear of an uncertain future. The emotional landscape was too raw for most folks to want to celebrate what the industry once was, especially when it was painfully obvious that this industrial downturn reflected permanent change. Long story short, those citizens organized as a task force. Four years later, the organization that was to become Rivers of Steel was established to carry the torch of big steel and its related industries. It's not simply telling the company's stories or of the products they made, but the stories of the men and women who worked there. Too important not to save. Relics and remnants were captured, so were oral histories, the scope of which grew beyond the workers themselves, encompassing the neighborhoods they represented, their languages, their churches, their traditions, and their recipes. This work helped local communities transition into a new era providing some comfort, but to revitalize the communities, more work still needed to be done. A vision for the future was necessary, so were economic resources. So the Steel Industry Heritage Corporation, the original name of Rivers of Steel, petitioned state and federal officers to create a heritage area, a region recognized for the national importance of its historic landscape. The case was supported by a vision to, quote, weave together the cultural and historical resources in a way that made our heritage visible, exciting, and accessible. Its timely implementation will have a major impact on the regional economy by promoting tourism and economic development." Unquote. In 1996, the Rivers of Steel National Heritage Area was created by an act of Congress in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. With that action, a new era began. In the intervening years, that vision came to pass. A number of industrial sites were saved and became the heritage attractions that Rivers of Steel manages today. Three would later be designated National Historic Landmarks, including the Bose Building and Homestead, the W.A. Young & Sons Foundry and Machine Shop in Rice's Landing, and the Cary Blast Furnaces No. 6 and 7 in Swissvale and Rankin. Plus, there's the historic pump house and water tower, site of the 1892 Battle of Homestead, located in Munhall. Through our grant program, Rivers of Steel funded many other projects in partnership with local communities. Brownfields were redeveloped, main streets revitalized, river landings made accessible, recreational trails created, and much more. As an organization, Rivers of Steel is resilient, reflecting the hardworking character of the people of Southwestern PA. Each project, each attempt to stop a demolition of an historic place or petition for the national landmark status was another achievement for the benefit of the region at large. 30 years on, the prospects for Pittsburgh and southwestern Pennsylvania have improved, some areas more so than others. So while we've had many great successes, the work is not yet done. As Rivers of Steel evolves, so does its methods for strengthening the economic and cultural fabric of Western Pennsylvania. Our narratives have expanded. The industrial story is included, but so is the post-industrial one. And in an era where science and technology are again driving forces in the region, Rivers of Steel has expanded its educational programs to encompass those subjects and to place them in a historical context, while pursuing more opportunities to promote heritage, tourism, and economic development. For the first time, Rivers of Steel is proud to offer formal student education programming, including three on the Explorer Riverboat, three at Cary Furnace, and another here in the Bose Building. Standards-based and led by trained educators, these programs provide an opportunity for students to engage in hands-on, interactive learning experiences. 
unique experiences that elicit creative connections to history, to science, and to art. And with the addition of the Explorer Riverboat to our attractions, we're thrilled to announce that this summer we'll be launching a public sightseeing tour on the boat. Dubbed Pittsburgh 101, an intro to innovation, it'll allow tourists and locals alike to uncover the connections between Pittsburgh's past and the revitalized region it is today. 2018, Cary Furnaces will again host the biennial Alloy Pittsburgh Exhibition, a show comprised of contemporary art installations that feature up and coming regional artists. Viewed through the lens of art, history can engage new audiences, ideas can be interpreted and resonated back, reflecting yesteryear's truths for a new generation in a new form. With all that context in mind, we're excited to reflect the new era of the organization by revealing a new brand identity. We hope you share in our excitement as we introduce our new logo, one that reflects Rivers of Steel's expanded scope and is also well designed for 21st century applications. We're in a great place to look back at the progress of the last 30 years and know that Rivers of Steel is now stronger than ever. Thanks for sharing a few minutes of your New Year's Day with us, and as always for your continued support. Cheers to the new year and the new beginnings it promises.